You're going to be so surprised when I share with you what this skincare ingredient is and why an esthetician will never touch it. Let's talk about it right now. Hi friends and welcome into my channel. I'm very excited to share the three reasons that estheticians will never touch this ingredient or never use it. It will never be in their bathrooms in their skincare arsenal. But before we get started into that topic, I'm going to put a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead and you can go to the meat of the video because we do talk about my top, my earrings, my jewelry, the things I have on, and we're going to do that today. So skip ahead if you're not interested in that. I don't blame you at all. All right. So I love my shirt today. I love my shirt every day. I say that every day when I talk to you guys. Fun, beautiful, black, sleek, jersey knit t-shirt. This has a bell sleeve with the cutout on the shoulders or a cold shoulder. Fun detail that just elevates it a little bit. I love wearing stretchy t-shirts because I am menopausal and it just helps with what goes on with the tummy and the butt these days. So I really do enjoy this one. It does come down, just barely skims down below the hips and I really like it. And also the fun drop earrings that I have on today, just a pretty dangle silver earring. These do come in gold as well. Super light on those, by the way. And then my necklace, which I love silver. This has two different links in it, kind of a broken up or a textured link in it and then it has the smooth one just makes for a great detailing my fingernail polish any makeup I have on that I don't talk about and all the rest of the jewelry everything will be listed and linked below speaking of links I always put up right here a number that corresponds to whatever product I'm talking about one through however many we get through today. You don't have to remember the product, just remember the number on the screen, and then go down, open up the description box. Next to that number will be the product name with all the details and the link if you'd like to shop that way. That is our introduction. Let's get into this video and you'll find out the ingredient right now. As we do get started on this topic, I wanna to tell you that this is one of my biggest pet peeves. This is something that I learned very early on in my skincare journey. Journey, and it absolutely drives me crazy when a drugstore brand or when another brand I see on Amazon, Instagram, whatever, if they advertise this, I almost lose it. <laughs> what is it? It is any skincare ingredient that claims that it is collagen topically putting on your face. Why? Collagen is good, right? It's one of those things that we absolutely need in order to bring back the plumpness and firmness in our face. It's the, what we lose right here on our neck, on our bodies that makes our skin look saggy. It makes our face sink in. It makes us look older. It gives us lines. Why wouldn't we want to have collagen? Well, of course we want to have collagen, but applying the collagen molecule topically to your face does nothing. That's the number one reason that an esthetician will never apply collagen topically to their face. It does absolutely nothing because the collagen molecule is too big to penetrate into our skin, plain and simple. And yet we have so many skincare companies advertising it. So what in the world is going on? Why are they advertising it? Why are they saying that, right? Well, it's because they know that women understand that collagen is good for us, but they know that a lot of women don't understand that it doesn't penetrate, that it cannot penetrate. The number so, two reason that an esthetician does not use it is simply because she knows that it's a ripoff to her customers. And she wants you to come back. She wants you to be able to go to her with any of your questions for your skincare routine. And she knows that if she gives you that collagen or she uses it herself, it's never going to show any results. So obviously she's not going to go ahead and use it herself. And she's definitely not going to give it to her patients because she knows that it does absolutely nothing. And she also knows that it's a big rip off. Anytime you ever see that, do not, do not be fooled by it. The collagen molecule cannot penetrate the skin. The number three reason an esthetician does not use collagen topically is because she knows that there's something so much better and it is peptides. Now, what are peptides? Peptides are the itty bitty broken down collagen molecules. So you have these fractionated molecules of collagen that can actually penetrate your skin and can go in and can be effective where the collagen molecule could never be effective. So you're talking about something like this big compared to something like this big. So here's the collagen molecule 
molecule, but this little bitty peptide molecule can penetrate. So she knows that there's something that is so much better. It's penetrating the skin of her clients and she's going to definitely recommend peptides. So make sure that you're watching those labels. If it says collagen, just skip over it. Don't even go there. Just, you know, wave your hand and go, yeah, I know better. If it says peptides, then you know that it's going to be able to penetrate. But also you can consult with your esthetician or you can look here on YouTube. There's a ton of estheticians. I actually have several estheticians that I follow that I absolutely love these gals. Penn Smith Skincare Penny. She's amazing. Christine Byers. She's amazing too. And these ladies are an amazing wealth of information for skincare. I will make sure that I list and link both of their channels below so that you can go over and visit them. Tell them that I sent you. They are just, you will not believe how many videos they have up and how much they can really help you with your skincare. And if you're interested, one of my favorite peptides is from The Ordinary and it's the copper peptides with the buffet. The buffet already has a bunch of peptides in it if you get it in the clear bottle, but if you get it in this dark bottle, then it has the copper peptides in it. And the copper peptides are a powerhouse for actually firming up. Skin that's sagging, that's losing its elastin, that's really looking like it's dull. It's really good for firming. Definitely take a look at The Ordinary's copper peptides with the buffet. Tons of other peptides in there, not just the copper peptides, and it's really, really awesome for your skin. There are many other skincare ingredients that actually promote collagen. One being, of course, Retin-A, the gold standard for promoting collagen because it does go deep into the skin and helps promote collagen, which gives that plumping effect. Vitamin C is just an amazing support for Retin-A or retinols, anything like that. Lots of people have said in the past that you cannot use the two together. Now they're finding out that they support each other. Just like if you take a vitamin A, a vitamin C, and a vitamin E supplement together inside your body, they're gonna support each other. Those vitamins all work together. Our, body, our bodies need vitamins together in order for them all to be balanced and work right. Same thing with the vitamin C and the retinol that you put on your skin. That's why I actually do like to use them together. I will put a vitamin C on, wait a while for that to dry down, and then at night I'll put on my retinol, which is all for another video. <laughs> so those are the three reasons that an esthetician will never have a collagen serum or a collagen cream in her skincare. She will never use it. She will never give it to her clients. That's the reason. I hope that you did enjoy this video today. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would really love to have you here. Hope everybody is doing really well. Let's put up another skincare video right here of maybe just skincare products that I myself use. My skincare is pretty much what it is. Every six months, you won't see too many new products in there unless I find something that's absolutely fantastic. So let's put up another skincare video right here so that you can see that. I hope you are all doing well. Please take care of yourselves. Be happy, be healthy. I love you, and I will catch you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.